to the moon. The last episode was actually quite saddening as we found out that Joey had a brother, a twin brother, and he got run over by his mum when reversing. That is a beautiful sky. So, I'm still very depressed and quite speechless about that. Hopefully this type of music will get me in a better mood. Some kind of carnival, huh? Should we look around? How about a look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering, go ahead. <laughs> go already. Oh, you ruined it. Fruits, fresh fruits. Apples, oranges and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes are fruit, aren't fruits? Uh, yeah they are. They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes! We never ever refer to them as fruits. We? Who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. Fruits, fresh fruits. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John. Don't, uh, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too. He just went first. Hee <laughs> hee. It's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how your, see how nice your brother is, Johnny. Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come on, let's uh, let's see what's over there. But I'm not not a dumpling. You know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Let's we'll see what this guy says. No, nope. move out the way, kids. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Come on, can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs on a water wheel. Don't <laughs> know, don't care. Ah yes, fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one, a doctor. Oh my. Come on, let's get both of your treats. Hey, hey, where's my tip? <laughs> Lies. Lies and slander. Where'd they go? We've got three bars of memory to proceed. Oh, where the bloody hell did they go? Mm, barbecue. Okay, where did they go? Come on, give me a hint. Can I speak to him again? This can't be the smallest Ferris wheel in the world. I just rode on a full seat last month. The world's smallest Ferris wheel, everybody. Come see me hard. Uh, can I go down the slide? No! Why is it sparkly? Hey, is that a whack a mole? Whack a whack? Whack a mole. You take a mile and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, but it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, yes. Um. We, okay, let me just position my computer, we are going to use a mouse, and I'm going to suck, because for some reason my mouse is lag. Let's do this. Whack the mouse! Ah I am awesome! I've only missed one! 
so far. No! I am just badass. I am the mole king machine. Time's up. And the mouse goes off to the side. Uh, let's see now. Out of 49 to total targets, uh, parents, you struck 51 times and made 48 successful hits. That's a 97% hit rate. It's your new record! <laughs> that is awesome. I am the mole whacking king! Well, we've got three uh, memory links now, so we can go to the next area. Which looks like a grandstand. Everything's so shiny. Hey, there they are. Mm -hmm. I can never understand you, Jelly. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is more like it. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try some... Uh, try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah! Mm -hmm. I'm done though. Can I go play? Hmm, okay. But only at the playground and not, uh, not an inch too far. Just leave that bag, I'll keep it for you. Nah, it's mine, I want it. So, I guess he never liked pickled olives originally. Joey's favorite. So yeah, Johnny pretty much became Joey. Custard! I love custard. Give me the custard. No, I want the custard. Hmm. Need at least five memory bars. Okay, we need one more. Hot dog stand! I don't need a light. No. God damn it. Maybe we can talk to uh, Joey. No, what about his mum? Nope. What about the nice barbecue which looks like he's using lava? Nope. Maybe the bridge? Ice cream! Hmm. Oh, what's up here? Oh, we're back here. Wait, maybe he went up. Yeah. Let's try this area. Round the big tree, down, and is he here? Because I'd say this is the playground. Why do I have a feeling I've walked past him? Where are you, goddammit? Oh, there's number five. What are they singing? I guess they're not. Yeah! No, oh, yes, right. Good. And the music's calmed down. Move out the way, kiddies! Hmm. Is he just... Oh no, I thought he went into the tent then. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Hmm. Where is he off to? Hold on. Is this the lighthouse? That looks beautiful. I have always wanted to go to space. Myself. Wow. I mean, it'd be beautiful just to see that out there. It'd be beautiful. 
Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa told me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside the sea that we'd stay at. The one, the uh, same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I, I did, mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. I know. It's a shame though. I gotta admit, the art team did brilliant on this game. I just looked beautiful. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I told, I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Maybe this is Joey? Nope. If I know anything, that is River. Hello. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your your spot? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Aww. So that's how they met. Just look at him. Oh, this is so sweet. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, um, I didn't... I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds. Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it at school. Why? They just say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Huh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Um, what's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. That is deep. Yeah, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad says the giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. Kangaroos are real, you dumb nut. Have you ever be made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? 
Yes. Um, um, of other things. Never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see, who makes one up first? Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and stop. I see it. Now where? In the sky. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right there. There's the two ears and head. What else? And there. There, there. It's two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon. The moon is its big round belly. Oh, wow. So that's why she wanted him to go, what else? What else? So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their light from afar. So that's what they do. I guess you could do, um... I forgot what it's called. Bleh, 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 bleh. What's it called? Morse code. <laughs> they shine their lights at the old lighthouses, and, and at me. Why you? Because one day... I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag? What's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from a whack a mole Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. It's the platypus. It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Eek! That's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. I bet I beat your score. Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time. Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. This story has just hit me like a ton of bricks. So Rivers wanted him to remember everything? the rabbits to make him remember about this time and then she gave him the hacky sack to remind him of this time as well she just wanted him to remember if they ever got lost wait does that mean don't tell me you didn't see that coming and here I thought this was gonna be an inspirational childhood dream story I should have known that some girl would have come along and turned it into a cheese fest I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon wait you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are constructed, contracted to do. Damn it, Eva. Wait! Eva. What's she gonna do? 
What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I know you are in here. No, moon. Let's read this note. Objective, where Johnny and River are to regroup if they got what? She's gonna make it so they never meet. Don't do it either. Come on, let's just... He may want to go to the moon, but... Oh, come on. That's just messing with love. That's wrong. Well, we're going to stop. We're going to find and stop either in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying. And I am absolutely loving this. And it is brilliant. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.